Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Origins. Uh, in this episode we're going to be looking at some fossil, fossil Pokemon, Kabuto and Kabutops. As obviously looking at fossils is very interesting because they are derived from ancient creatures. So let's get started. Right, so uh, we're going to start this episode off with something a little, little different here. We're going to look through all the sprites from all of the games for each of these Pokemon. Starting off in red and blue, obviously, or in red, Japanese, uh, and green for Kabuto. Its sprite looks like the majority of um, the Japanese and the green sprites. Very bad, um, but it looks like a Kabuto still. You can still recognise it. Red, blue, you kind of, we kind of get more of an overhead view, which we haven't, we don't see in any of the other sprites at all. Uh, and it looks a lot different. You don't actually see its underside and its kind of legs look like they're attached to the shell rather than coming out underneath it in the rest of the sprites. Yellow looks like the Kabuto we are used to, uh, with his eyes kind of just a bit too far back in the shell from uh, yeah, the current ones. Gold and silver is pretty much yellow but jumping about with uh, one or two changes so that's the usual there. Crystal again is the same really. Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald and obviously Fire and Leaf Green as well, all pretty much the same. Diamond Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold and Soul Silver kind of give you more of an underside than the others. And so do Black, White and Black 2 and White 2, more of an in the air approach let's say. Now if you look at Kabutops' sprites, the green version like Kabuto looks very much like a, uh, a, Kabuto, a Kabutops. You wouldn't really be able to not see it was one. Uh, red and blue looks a lot like the ones we're used to at the current time and Krista, sorry, yellow it looks slightly different to red and blue um, not like the current ones but not as great gold, silver and crystal it's kind of more a battle pose um, you know, ready to swipe you with its uh, arms and ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire and leaf green are again like gold, silver, crystal but more of a looking left rather than directly at the camera Diamond, Pearl and Platinum are uh, looking left again, but with, it's kind of like a static place, it's not really a battle move, it's just a strange way for it to stand. Uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver is you know, preparing for battle, it's ready to swipe at the nearest opportunity. And Black and White and Black 2 and White 2 is kind of, it's not a static pose and it's not a battle uh, attack, sort of, it's more of a uh, intermediate, you know, it's just it stood there waiting to just rip its opponent. Right, so let's get started with Kabuto. It is the shellfish Pokemon. It is number 140. It's 0.5 meters tall or 1 foot 8 inches and weighs 11.5 kilograms or 25.4 pounds. Kabuto is a fossil Pokemon that is resurrected from the dome fossil, which can be found in several games including the original games, Fire and Leaf Green and also Black 2 and White 2. If we first look at Kabuto's design, we can see it as a tan coloured shellfish with two black dots on top of its shell which act as a second pair of eyes. It uses these sh eyes when it retreats back into its shell so it can still see what is going on around it. Underneath the shell is mostly black but with two red eyes and four yellow tan coloured legs. Kabuto seems to be inspired by trilobites which are extinct marine arthropods and horseshoe crabs which are arthropods that are currently considered living fossils. If we now look at some extra details, we can see there are no gender differences, and a shiny version of Kabuto has a green shell, which is, in my opinion, very strange, but it does look cool if you're into that sort of thing. Pokedex entries speak about it being regenerated from a fossil, but also that sometimes living fossils and uh, examples of Kabuto have been found. And finally looking at names, its Japanese name is the same as its English name, which is Kabuto, and we can see that it either derives from Kabuto Gani, which means horseshoe crab, or Kabuto, which is a helmet, or more specifically, a helmet that a samurai uses. So it may be linked to its evolution, which we shall look at now. Right, so Kabu Kabutops. Uh, as same with Kabuto, its Japanese name is Kabutops as well. It is also the shellfish Pokemon, is number 141 and is 1.3 meters tall or 4 foot 3 inches and weighs 40.5 kilograms or 89.3 pounds. A Kabuto will evolve into a Kabutops at level 40. Now since evolving, 
Kabutops has gained some rather interesting features. It now has two long legs with two claws each on the bottom, go, um, going up since its small diddy legs as a Kabuto. It now also has two long sickles that extend from each of its arms, making it a very fierce looking Pokemon. It has six spikes running down its, down its back, three either side, and its head is covered in a semicircle shaped helmet. It also has a brown tail. Inspiration wise, Kabutops seems to be based on Eurypterids, which are extinct arthropods which are related to arachnids, but not exactly the same. It may again also have been inspired by trilobites due to the helmet and the spikes. Looking at some extra details again, we can see like Kabuto, there are no gender differences between Kabutops. Uh, and again, the shiny version is bright green. Again, take from that what you will. And in the Pokedex entries, it's a bit freaky this actually, uh, it says it, Kabutops drain their prey's fluids, so drink their blood basically. So we, we are here we have a, a vampire fossil. It also says it's evolved to life on land due to its prey doing the same. And again, we look at the name here, Kabuto, obviously from Helmet, and Kabuto Gani from Horseshoe Crab. The tops section, however, may be just related to the fact that the helmet is now at the top of its head rather than covering the whole body, or it may be a reference to Triops, which is another living fossil. Right, so let's just look at the size of these Pokemon here. As you can see, Kabuto is quite small, and Kabutops is a bit larger, but still not as tall as me. Uh, oh well. <laughs> right, so yeah, there's sizes. Take from that what you will, really. And that concludes this episode, guys. Obviously, don't forget to comment, like, etc. And go subscribe to both my channel and Kanto University. In the next episode, we will be looking at Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. So that should be fun to do.